What I have for you today here is something special. This is the GameSir X3 Type-C and this is technically the next version of the GameSir X2 Type-C that we reviewed like one or two years ago. That was a fantastic controller for your mobile phone but this time around, GameSir didn't just create yet another updated version of that controller but they improve a lot of things by adding this as well, cooling. So if we take a look at the back here, we can see that the new controller now has a fan at the back, including this really big piece of Peltier cooler underneath. So in today's video, I'm gonna unbox this, try it out, and also do a thermal testing alongside with some of the feature highlights. Let's begin. Before we proceed, I need to tell you that we are actually using the Black Shark 4 Pro phone here. This phone is using the Snapdragon 888 chipset and the reason why we chose this phone is because it can reach a very high performance and that also means that the thermal limit will definitely be reached at about 58 degrees Celsius. As you can see here, there is a temperature reading here, 34.7 right now because I just launched Genshin Impact. I'll leave this phone on the side here and I also got a thermal cam that we can verify the temperature of the surface of the phone later. And now let's just open it up and see what it has to offer. So this is just a very basic sleeve and we have a hard shell case here and it says GameSir X3. The zipper is really nice as well. It says GameSir. So we can just, uh, okay, this case is rather thick. So once we unzip it, what's inside? Let me just zoom it out for you to see here. We have a total of two compartments. So the top here is a pouch to house the type A to type C cable. It's a rather floppy cable, but I guess it works because you only need power to the controller and we'll get more into that later. And then the controller itself is held on with a strap. And here we have the accessories box. I'll leave it here for now. And then this is the GameSir X3 Type-C itself. So this new grip has a lot of updates. The buttons are now very clicky and you can hear it. The joysticks are as smooth as ever, just like the GameSir T4 Mini that I reviewed not too long ago. Top right there is where you can watch that review. The D-pad is also changed and it's now clicky as well. Not sure if you can hear it, but it's definitely clicky and audible. Same goes to the L1, L2 and R1, R2 too. And this new grip is also a lot thicker than before. So as you can see here, there are noticeable bumps on these two sides. So it offers a much more comfortable grip when you're holding it like this. So this is really nice to hold now. And then we of course need to talk about the Peltier cooler, which is why we have a piece of plastic film here to protect the thermal interface from getting dirty because any sort of dust will certainly affect the thermal performance. So I will peel off the plastic film a little bit later, but now I want to put aside this case. And now I want to focus on the accessories box because it does come with quite a lot of accessories that I want to highlight. So let me just take it out real quick. And here we go. There are a cartridge of accessories. And then inside here, we also have more documentation. So as you can see here, this is the QC card, our Gamester sticker. And what is this for? This is telling us that we can play all the amazing games with the Gamester X3 Type-C on TapTap. And before we proceed, this video is sponsored by TapTap. Do you like gaming on your phone or tablet? Then TapTap should be your second home. It's a combination of a social media and a new site where all games, new, old, and even pre-release games can share insights or even exclusive news bits. Take Valorant Mobile for example. We can pre-register for either the Android version or the iOS version. And hey, this is also a great place to discover hidden gems like Donut County or the Rusty Lake Hotel. And once you build your library of games that you personally like, TapTap will start recommending you more games according to what you already liked. 
Best of all, TapTap -tap is free. Just head into the link on the screen here or down in the description below, register an account. You can even download the Android or iOS app instead of using your browser. Thanks again for TapTap -tap for sponsoring this video and we can finally discover a lot more weirder mobile games through TapTap. -tap. Now back to the video. And next one we have the user manual here. I really don't want to go through much about this because it's pretty much talking about what we really want to highlight here. So I'm just gonna uh, proceed and show it to you instead of explaining to you. And this one I guess is a welcome card, is it? Yep, it is. Thank you for your purchase. I'm not gonna read this. And the most interesting thing about the GameSir X3 Type-C is this accessory cartridge that it comes in with. So you can see here we have two thumbsticks and here's another set of thumbsticks and that is because if we rip out this one, this is the short thumbstick and we can also change it to a longer thumbstick if we choose to do so. Uh, oh, this is the other color, but you get the idea. So one is short and one is taller. Uh, camera focus please. Yeah, there we go. You can see the height difference. Some people will prefer a taller joystick. Some people prefer a shorter joystick. So GameSir is literally giving you the choice. And best of all, they are even giving you the choice to change the thumbsticks as well. So you can see this is a convex joystick cap because it bends outwards, it faces outwards. And then this is a concave joystick cap because you can see the center part bends inwards. Let me just show you the comparison between concave and convex. So you can see this one is convex because it bends outwards. This one is concave because it bends inwards. So it pretty much depends on what you like. For example, I like the convex a lot more. So I just snap it in, wrap it around the joystick and there we go. I got a brand new cap around the joystick for better grip actually. So if you don't prefer the uh, smaller surface area cap on the original joystick, then you can just, you know, yeah, and there you go. And as you can see here, we have one more accessory and this is actually uh, not Umbrella Corp logo. <laughs> So Resident Evil won't happen here, but it's actually to replace the D-pad. So you can see here, this D-pad is highlighting up, down, left, right, and they are all clicky, as mentioned earlier. But we can also change it to this Umbrella Corp looking joystick pad, because it is good for fighting games if you want a roll off combo, and the way to do it is pretty simple, just... There we go. And then we can install the other d-pad and there we go this is it i mean if you want to roll off combo like uh, front to back it's a lot easier to do it on this type of d-pad and then the face buttons can also be swapped now i mean swapped as in swapping its position because as you can see now it's using the xbox layout so this is my xbox one controller and you can see xy xy a b a, B. So what we can do if we want to use the Nintendo Switch version, this is the Nintendo Switch controller layout. You can see B, A, Y, X, which is in contrast with this X, Y, and A, B. So what we can do with this GameSir X3 Type-C is to literally just, it's a bit difficult, but you can do it. Push it one side tries to get it out there we go and then we can take out the other one and then we can swap the position so b a yeah there we go just now it was a b x y now it's b a x y so we can also do this for the x and y buttons as well it's the same thing just it's it's a bit clunky in terms of getting it out but it's uh yeah it, it works not the easiest to do, but it's possible. So, there we go. It is now inverted XY, XY, AB, AB. So it's now exactly the same as the Nintendo Switch layout. 
And yeah, technically that is all the features available on the GameSir X3 Type-C in terms of its physical features. Now let us power on the Peltier Cooler. Okay, so for the Peltier Cooler, what I'm going to do is to rip out this piece of plastic first. And then I'm going to use my charger. Your green charger. Let me just use the watt meter cable because I want to see how much power it draws. And then we can hear the fan running now. And uh, remember, this is a real life test, so I'm just gonna show you real quickly what it actually does. So the watt meter reports 10 watts. I'm pretty sure the camera can't see it because it's flickering on the camera, but to my eyes, it's 10 watts. So I'm going to use the thermal camera to see what temperature it is right now. Peltier coolers work really fast and it reaches a cool temperature of 15.7 degrees Celsius. Oh, it's dropping below 14 degrees Celsius. Oh, I can see the temperature flickering. It's now lower than 13 degrees Celsius. It's at about 12.5. Peltier cooler is kind of high performance as you can see it reached 10 degrees celsius right now and it took less than a minute to reach this temperature which is amazing and the wattage consumed by this Peltier cooler is at 10 watts so yeah it reached below 10 degrees celsius now so I'm gonna stop the camera for a while and then we will take the Black Shark 4 Pro I've been running this for the past 15 minutes or so and you can see the temperature is now at 40.6 degrees. The frame of the phone is very hot and I should use the thermal camera to show you how hot the frame of this phone actually is. The hottest spot is always around here. It's about 41 degrees Celsius on the surface of the screen and at the back of the phone, this is the hottest spot. Uh, 40 something degrees Celsius, 40 plus a little bit. It's not really that hot right now. And the frame of the phone, hmm, it's a bit difficult to measure because the sensor is a bit off site. I... So yeah, 37, 40-ish degrees Celsius around the frame. And now what I'm going to do is to put it on the Peltier cooler. And as you can see here, the reported temperature is 40.4 degrees Celsius. Let's just put on the Peltier cooler and see what happens. So the way to put your phone onto the GameSir X3 Type-C is the same as the GameSir X2 Type-C. This part is bendable, so what we're gonna do is to aim the port on the phone, plug it in, and then hold the phone right here, pull the entire GameSir apart, and then snap it back. This is how you put the controller and there we go, it's installed. So we'll wait for a while and see how the temperature goes. 15 minutes later. Okay, so as you can see here, I left the game running for quite a long time and the temperature has stabilized at 32.9 degrees Celsius, which is really good compared to the 40 something degrees Celsius previously. So it's like a nearly 9 or 10 degrees Celsius drop through the Peltier cooler. Now mind you, I left the Peltier cooler running all the time, so if I unplug this, then the temperature will rise back up. Now unfortunately, we cannot set the GameSir X3 Type-C's Peltier cooler to be at a different level of cooling. So it's only one setting, it's either on or off. So if you leave it on, the fan can get really loud, so do keep that in mind. And there's also RGB. I should show you the RGB, like wait. So yeah. RGB because why not right and this is also not customizable because the GameSir app doesn't work with this configuration I should also show you the GameSir app and before we jump into the GameSir app I should also highlight that Genshin Impact doesn't work with the GameSir X3 Type-C this time around I have installed the official version of the app from the Google Play Store and I'm currently in G-Touch mode, as you can see, this light is currently in green color, which means G-Touch is technically um, imitating button presses and mapping it into certain button presses. For example, I have mapped the X button to be this button here, this special attack. But unfortunately, 
mapping doesn't work on Genshin Impact, so none of my buttons or joysticks work. That aside though, let me just show you the GameSir app right now. So you can see the GameSir app tells us that, yay, blue means it's ready to play 8NS. For more information about 8NS, I'll leave down in the description below. Green light means it's ready to play GameSir World, which is the app that I'm currently using. So tap on I know. And COD Mobile is the one game that I tested and the mapping works. So let me just show you right now. Okay, so now we are in COD Mobile and the game Sir X3 Type-C is in G-Touch mode. And now what I'm gonna do is to hit on this button here. It is not the Games Config button, but there's actually another hidden button for the game Sir World app. So what I'm gonna do is to add button. I'm just gonna drag the left control stick to here because that's where my joystick is gonna be. Right control stick is where the camera movement is gonna be. I'll leave it here. And then add button, I'm gonna add shoot button as this L1 because I like that button a lot. And then reload button to be, you know what, let's just give it L2. And then I think scope should be R1 and I think that's pretty much what I need for my gameplay for this demonstration at least. I'll hit X, save to accessory, give it a moment, and there we go, we are playing COD Mobile. Of course the joystick is a bit weird, as you can see here it doesn't change the camera angle that nicely. So what we're gonna do is go back here, and then we hit the L button, hit config. Joystick mode, I'm going to sliding mode instead, so full screen, axis direction, standard, we can also set it to reverse, depending on your preference. I'll hit OK, same goes to the R stick, I'll hit sliding mode, everything is the same, OK, hit X, save to accessory once more, and there we go. Now we should be able to play COD Mobile with this GameSir X3 Type-C, so scope, shoot, and then reload. Of course, I have not mapped these two buttons and also the secondary weapon or even the grenades and whatnot. Of course, we can all do that using the menu that I showed you just now. So the next feature that I want to show you is to hit into Dolphin Emulator because of course, what we can do now is to actually change it back to the ANS mode. There we go, change it back to this mode. And the reason why I want to do this is because we can actually remap the controller buttons of this emulator to the buttons of the controller. So as you can see here, start button works. I have already remapped this actually. And then game saves, I'm just gonna go, okay, start. And there you go. I'm playing this game on the games uh, X3 Type-C, of course, running on the Black Shark 4 Pro. So, all the buttons work. The joystick camera stick is in reverse, but of course, I can map that in software as well. So, what we're gonna do is hit here and then go into GameCube input mode because uh, Wind Waker is a GameCube game. So, I'm just gonna hit here, emulate it. And then we can see I have already mapped all of the buttons here. What I'm gonna do is to change the C stick so I'm gonna go up, down, just now it was inverted so I'm just gonna go right and then here's left. So I've already remapped all of the buttons as you can see here. I'm just gonna head back into Wind Waker and now all of the buttons should work correctly including this joystick here for the camera angles. And just like that, it has been remapped and all of the buttons are working properly. And now I can play the entire Wind Waker on this phone right here with this controller for a much better button control instead of using touchscreens. I mean, you can play this game using touchscreen but it's annoying so it's always better to have a proper controller on the go. And that brings us to the conclusion of the game Sir X3 Type-C. This is obviously a controller made for you to play games on your mobile phones. That is very obvious and it does a very good job as well. All of the buttons are really nicely 
clicky and also satisfying travel distance as you can see here and also this button here yeah everything it feels fantastic on this controller however as you can see here it's a lot bulkier compared to the last generation since they need to fit in the Peltier cooler which already made this part really thick Gamesir also included this part here and also a grip just to make it flush and flat with the Peltier cooler which is a nice addition but ultimately it adds to bulk of this whole grip of your phone and one thing I really like is also the inclusion of a case because you can carry this controller around with you if you want to and play games on the go as well. However, I think some of the problems still exist when compared to the Gamesa X2 Type-C because this controller, even though it has two USB Type-C ports at the bottom here, you can see this one is for the Peltier cooler only. And this one is only for charging the phone. So if we plug it in here, we can see the phone starts charging. You can see that it starts charging. But that also means that this port is literally serving only a single purpose. So yeah, if you plan to use the Gamesir X3 Type-C with your PC or Mac, then unfortunately you cannot. But with that said though, if what you want is to play mobile games like this, and also to use emulators and all whatnot, then this is a fantastic controller. It does what it needs to do. And also the buttons are solid. The Yeah, I mean, this is just one of the best grips that I've used so far. And especially with the Peltier cooler, that means your phone will never get overheated. And you can also charge while playing at the same time. So that is a really huge bonus. Plus, if you're changing between emulators, for example, you want to emulate the Nintendo Switch, for example, and then you want to jump back to, let's just say, uh, Halo? Is that a thing that people emulate? Then you can just swap the buttons as well. So that's good. So overall, this controller is fantastic. However, for the price though, I would say this is where the biggest setback is at because this controller costs 399 ringgit or 100 US dollars. So that literally puts this as the flagship grip for your smartphone. And if you do have something like the Galaxy Z Fold or something like that to expand this device screen size, then that would be magnificent in terms of gaming experience. And especially for the Z Fold 3 because you can play in the native 4 by 3 aspect ratio on that screen. That's amazing. So yeah, that's all we have to share with you about the Gamesir X3 Type-C. And we'll see you guys in the next video.